How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're in the garage working on a sled today, getting ready for our 2023 snowmobile season. I'm pretty pumped about it. I do have a really, really big announcement coming up in one of my next videos, so stay tuned for that. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, I'm super pumped about it, so <laughs> pretty awesome deal. Um, all right, so today we're working on an Arctic Cat M8, a 2013 model. Um, this sled is my dad's and uh, yeah, we just did a whole bunch of work to it actually um, that I did not film. We did, ended up putting on these running boards here, cutting the OEM ones off, putting those on. Um, also putting a new bumper on, changing out some A-arms. And as you can see, there's still some carnage there on that A-arm, but not a big deal. She will ride. Um, yeah, today we're going to work on it though. What we're going to do today is we're going to change that chain case oil. On these sleds, it looks a little bit intimidating, but really it is not too horrible so i'm going to show you kind of how step by step easy way to do it and also this does have a titanium diamond s can um, so sounds pretty dang good to be honest um, but yeah as you can see your chain case is in here and basically for those of you guys that are you know kind of new to sleds or snowmobiling your chain case is where your secondary clutch um, has your shaft that runs all the way through from your secondary clutch on that side of the sled all the way over to your gear driven drive over here and you've got a gear on top and a gear on bottom the bottom gear attaches to your drivers which then turns your track so in between there is a chain and we have to lubricate that now this is your oil tank this is where you put your two-stroke cat oil um, or whatever you want run red line or whatever um, but it's kind of intimidating you're like man how do I get that off how do I drain the oil let me show you how to do it pretty simple process but first off we do want to remove our can um, and in this case, because we have this Diamond S can on here, um, this is super simple to remove. If you have the OEM one, it's going to take up this entire space. And you're not going to have this big opening here when you pop off your side cover. So, um, same procedure though. Remove your can using the springs and a couple of, um, you know, those little tedious things that are in the way. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pop these panels off, show you how to do it. Um, we are going to run the Arctic Cat um, gear oil. Um, it's you know fairly inexpensive for how often you should change it um, with the cat or the skidoo i run a skidoo mine's a lot easier to change you can actually see the chain case right there is very exposed um, mine it pops off in a matter of about five minutes um, this one is going to take us a little bit more time but regardless let's hop into it let me show you how to do it about every 500 miles on break-in i say every 500 the first 500 miles on break-in you should go ahead and swap it and then after that, probably every five to 800 miles, maybe a thousand miles. Um, I honestly do mine every year. And if I put a ton of miles on my sled, ton of hard miles, I will change it twice a year. So um, it's just one of those maintenance items that um, you just wanna make sure that you cover. So let's go ahead and let's hop into it. All right, now if you grab right here, you should be able to pull out on the side here and that will take your cover off of the inside where this is kind of bolted up. And then you'll have a little quarter turn screw down here, bolts into there, um, pop it up. And then this will kind of expose the chain case. And what I'm gonna do here, just temporarily, just take a bungee cord, I'm gonna hook this and I'm gonna bring this back here somewhere on my running boards, probably about right there. And I'm just going to hold this back just enough that I can get to my um, chain case and not have to worry about it. Okay, now we've got a couple of zip ties here holding some wiring together. Go ahead and clip those. Um, you want to do a really good job here. Um, any of these connections, now is a great time to go ahead and throw some dielectric grease in them, get them cleaned up. You have one more connection down here also that connects to your oil tank. Um, your low oil light and pull this back just slightly and it's a good thing we disconnected it because this looks like garbage so we will tape this up we'll clean it up i want to do a good job while we're in here make everything look awesome this is your fill plug for your um chain case oil right there and uh let's go ahead and move this out of the way now um, i'm gonna go ahead and take this screw out right here and this is gonna allow me to pull this away just a little bit 
so I can e more easily access my um, chain case once I get it disconnected. Now this is your oil tank. And this does have a feed line coming from the bottom over here. And we're not gonna drain our oil, our two stroke oil out of this. We're just gonna move this whole thing over to the side once we get it unbolted. So the screws that are holding this together to the uh, um, chassis here are um, T30 Torx so that you have the right size. And I think this one's a T20 if I remember right. So it came with my running board kit that we just put on this thing. Okay, as you can see, there's about six bolts here. These ones bolt your oil tank to your chain case. You don't wanna take those out, but you do wanna take out these ones right here that bolt up to the chassis. Um, those are the ones that are covering the actual chain case. And then there's one right down there kind of hidden. And then there's two in the bottom that we will access, access through the bottom there. Like I said, let's leave our oil tank attached. And then over here, you can see there's two right there. Um, those are easy to get to. And we should be able to just pop this thing off, move it right over, leaving our oil line connected. Okay, right here we're looking at the footwell. And if we dive underneath here, you will see that there are two holes. One there, and you can see the Torx, and one there. That is how you're gonna get the bottom two bolts out. I would recommend leaving the upper bolts in until you get the bottoms out. And then as you get this separated, you can drain the oil into your trusty old drain pan. Now I'm gonna take my contact cleaner and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the inside of this out just a little bit. That way I can get any of uh, any oil that may have some shavings and things like that in it. Um, loosened up, freed up, and just falling out there. Um, and then obviously on my actual case here where my oil tank is, um, I wanna make sure that I get all this cleaned out too. So I'll go ahead and get a shop towel here, wipe all this out. And that stuff is nasty. Look at all that metal in there. Obviously it's a wear item, so that's why we do these oil changes. But the longer you leave this in there, the more metal is going to be get um, trapped in there and the more faster it's gonna wear out. So you wanna make sure that you do do your oil changes on your chain case. Now this does have a reusable gasket. So you wanna make sure that uh, you just inspect it, make sure it's not trashed and everything like that. Um, if, it, uh, if it looks bad, um, go ahead and swap it out. It's just an O-ring gasket, all it is. Um, all of them have reusable gaskets, so that's a nice thing. Ah, uh, yeah, look at all that nasty. Nasty, nasty. Look at all those metal shavings in there. All right. Uh, now that we've got this all cleaned out, everything's ready to go back together. Um, I looked it up in the Country Cat Manual here, and what it was saying was go ahead and set your chain tensioner to the fifth notch on the block there. So I went ahead and did that. The way I did that was I pulled down on this tab here, and this was actually set on the second notch. So it was about right, about right there. That's the first notch. And what that was allowing was this chain was touching this case was able to touch this case anyway so um, as far as chain tension goes it says go ahead and set it to the fifth notch which is going to be one more down from there even right there and then this is a self tightening system so as the chain gets loose that should drop down as it pulls this direction now if, I, if you see this now I'm not touching oh, maybe there we go now I'm not touching my case so I'm close, but I'm not touching my case. So that's a lot better. That makes me feel a lot happier. Um, so there was one, there's one little rub mark right there too where it did, did bump the case at one time. So that's a good thing that we did this. Um, regardless of the oil change, we were allowed, we were able to um, tension this correctly. So now that we are all cleaned up, we've got the case cleaned up on the inside, we've got the case cleaned up on the outside, um, cover here, um, everything's good to go. We're going to go ahead and put this back together, and then we will fill it back up with oil. Um, torque on the bolts going back together with this is 12 foot-pounds, so pretty light torque, being that it's aluminum. And, uh, yeah, 
hopefully it's easy as easy going on as it was coming off all right guys got everything torqued down and uh, went ahead and took a look at my wires here and as you can see um, they're trashed they're exposed so I'm gonna go ahead and fix these up really quick and then uh, we will get back to finishing our install um, you guys will see it fixed right about now and there we are I was able to go ahead and put a couple butt connectors in there heat shrink them and then um, I don't have any wire loom that small that's that's actually kind of nice stuff um, need to get some of that but anyway this is ready to go so we'll go ahead and plug that back in already plugged in our other um, connector right there that's good to go next we will fill up our chain case oil okay let's go ahead and dump this in um, I'm gonna fill it up till I can see it in the sight glass then I'll show you guys what I can see here now I'm pretty sure it takes all 12 ounces of this bottle if not maybe about 15 but um, it can be about perfect at 12 so let's see what it looks like when we get done here okay right there's our sight glass and as you guys can see 12 ounces was perfect halfway up in our sight glass where we need to be all right guys all wrapped up on the uh chain case oil change job and uh for those of you that stuck around till the end um we'll do a little startup you guys can listen to this sled with that diamond s can on it sounds pretty dang good uh, a couple takeaways though are uh wasn't that bad to do not as bad as i expect it to be um is not near as easy as a skidoo that's for sure um the other thing is uh the electrical connectors things like that make sure you check them um in that area because uh, it's just a really like, it's kind of an abusive area. It's where your knees are hitting. It's where there's oil. Um, you get a lot of, uh, heat there. So just go ahead and check those connectors. Make sure they're looking good. Um, fix them if you need to put dielectric grease in them, that kind of stuff. So, uh, other than that, you're going to definitely need a spring puller. Definitely need a Torx T30 bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will link down below all the stuff that you need to do this job. And, uh, Hop on it, do it yourself. The Skidoo dealership, or sorry, the Arctic Cat dealership will charge you quite a bit to do that. I paid $12 for that oil and my time, and it's done. So anyway, um, let's start this up. I'm sure you guys are going to want to hear it. Okay, that's enough. I don't have enough space in my garage for all that smoke, but anyway, <laughs> runs good, runs good. I love that smell. It's that time of year. Sled season's here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, hit me up down in the comments and <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. <laughs>